Now then, and welcome back to another episode of Adventure Fishing UK. I have got a real treat for you today. I'm fishing on the Lancaster Canal using a travel rod that is around 70 years old. This rod was made in Britain in the 1950s, so only just post World War II this rod was made. And now here I am on the canal and I'm going to try and catch a pike with it. Now I actually have two of these rods, a travel rod version and a non-travel rod version, but today I'm using the travel rod version of it. So this is a Milbro spinning rod made in Scotland. You can see this here isn't exactly the most high tech real seat you've ever seen. These just slide on and clip in there. Really nice cork handle though, I think it's cork. Nice varnish on it too. This is actually made of solid glass as well. Solid green glass fishing rod. These metal bits are the joints. The eye is very basic, but they're going to do the job. The funny thing is, look at the difference between those two eyes in size. The close one and then the next one. It looks a bit ridiculous, to be honest. Looking at the action of this, it is so floppy. This could be an absolute nightmare to use. So I do actually have a Milbro vintage spinning reel as well. I'm not going to use that today. I'm going to save that for a future video. But today I'm just going to slap my rigged and ready RR3000 on just because it's got really strong braid and we'll see how we get on with that. This real mechanism here is very unusual. You literally just slide that down. Let me just make sure I'm aligned with the eyes. You push that in there and you slide that down and then you do the same underneath and that just goes in like that. Simple, but actually Quite breathtakingly effective, I'd say. What a combo. The old and the new. Before I get started, I just want to give you a quick tour of the travel bag that it comes in. Really old school, this. Each of your sections goes into here. And then you've got a couple of various little tackle pouches and stuff. Put whatever you want in there. And that in its day that used to zip up although it doesn't zip up anymore not a bad little do now my lure of choice for the day is the rapala husky jerk in quite a natural-ish pattern i know this is a really good lure i do have some other vintage stuff as well but i'm going to do a full vintage video one day this is just the rod i'm going to be focusing on so i'm going to aim for the best possible lure to use that's going to give me the best chance at a fish sort of any size would take this I am also aware that Titanium Trace isn't exactly 1950s, but still, you've got to put the pike welfare first. Look at that for a winning combo, eh? That is going to work a treat. So, first cast. Half expecting this to just fall apart. It's heavy. It's quite a heavy bit of kit. Let's see. Whoa, it feels unusual to use. Unusual is probably the best way to describe it. She actually casts quite nice, you know. Unusual, but nice. Got a very clunky feel to it, I'll be honest very clunky indeed but you can see that rapala is working well down there just gonna have a couple chucks under this bridge and head somewhere where i know there's a few a few big fit oh could have just had a hit then right i know this marina has some big pike in i've caught a fair few nice ones in here before and with a bit of luck I might just be able to pull one out on this 70 year old rod. Very weedy though, so it might be difficult. Fish on! Fish on! <laughs> it's no monster. It's not hooked very well. <laughs> that did not take long. God, 
net. <laughs> Come on. Yes. And it's unhooked in the net. It's raining, so there's no need for a unhooking mat. Well, the ground's really wet. It's only a small fish. On the 70 year old travel rod. <laughs> Solid glass rod. What a lovely fish. And he's off. Well, that was an almost unbelievable turn of events, wasn't it? It wasn't the big one that I was hoping for, but over the moon with that. Let's get back in. Well, what a start. Don't worry if I do have an unhooking mat with me if I get anything bigger. But soft, wet grass, not a problem. Oh, we've got a little duckling there. Surprised it survived with all the pike in this bit. Got a bit of a gammy leg. Maybe some that has had a go at it. Look at the size of this thing for a canal bow. It's twice the width of all the others. You wouldn't want that coming through your swim, would you? It's an absolute beast of a thing. All night a day on that marina now. So it's now tomorrow. I've come back down to the canal, just a different part, a bit more local to me, because I wasn't satisfied. I'd had enough action on this rod. So we're going to get out again and see what we can do. Hopefully we'll get a couple more fish. Oh, I just had a hit and missed it. Saw exactly where that fish was. I may well be able to get that again. Oh, that was a good bite. Just had a really good bite. Oh, that felt like a serious fish. Well, that was no jack, I'll tell you that for sure. I nearly took the rod out, man. Another thing about this rod is it's just so heavy. It is just a very heavy bit of kit. And I don't mean that in terms of cast weight because really this rod was made before cast weights are even a thing. So you don't get any guidance about its capabilities, really. It's just a get a lure on and hope sort of job. Another bite, same fish took it again. And I just couldn't set the hook. Oh, you're joking. Come on, please have it one more time. One more time. Oh. Oh, that was a really big fish. I just can't believe I'm losing so many fish today. A couple of those have been nice ones as well. I've just got a feeling that this rod struggles a bit with the hook sets just because how floppy it is. But we've still got time. Fish. Oh, a bit smaller than the one that just bit then. <laughs> Even smaller than the last one, but nice to be on the 70 year old travel rod. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. It's a bit of a shame I couldn't connect to the bigger fish on this really old travel rod. But I will be back out with my other. 1950s spinning rod and that is really cool that probably looks a bit cooler than this as well and i will be out with the aim of a big one so hopefully i'll see you for the next video and thanks for watching